<laughs> Hello. Good afternoon. I'm a bit more worked out. I've walked. I've seen another human. <laughs> I got my Batman t shirt on. Batman. I'm not in shot. Standard, isn't it? Really? Sort this out while I'm doing this. Yes, so. How are we all? Are we all well? Are we all are UK people? Are you all uh, happy with the news, the announcements that were? See some positive light coming down the end of the tunnel with these uh, restrictions coming up. Hopefully, as long as it doesn't change anything in the in the near future. I've hurt my ass, but we'll not talk about that. So I'm sitting on a funny pillow. Uh, I haven't. I didn't mention that before, by the way, but. Uh, yeah, we'll not talk about that. I don't want to talk about it. Just not fucking idiot. It's nothing uh, dangerous. <laughs> well, it is. But it's not. It's not. It was in the prison showers. <laughs> um, are we all well? I hope you're all well. I hope you're all um, taking care of yourselves and taking care of each other. Um, oh, what's happening? What's happening, people? Everybody all good? I just said that, I've just said that again. That's normally I'll repeat myself, but I don't know what I'm talking about. Or, don't, yeah, I do know what I'm talking about. I don't know what I'm talking about. I never know what I'm talking about. I'm just rambling. Yeah, I had some nice uh, feedback from people saying that they do, do enjoy me little rambles, so I'll continue to do them as long as you're happy. Not that I'm seeking approval in relation to these. Um, but just uh, as long as it cheers you up. Cheers you up, cheers me up. Makes me feel better when I do these. Oh. Um, yeah, not a lot happening really. Um, I did get told about the, me talking about travelling last week that uh, made people pine for, some people pine for their holidays. Ah, I do. I know, I know where you're coming from. I didn't mean to do that. That was just me just talking because I feel like that as well. It's getting away. I think it's just the, the locked in, locked in the house and stuff and that, not literally but it does feel a bit like that sometimes when you don't see and i think it's quicker because if you're used to seeing people i think it becomes a bit like that so um these sort of things are to abate your loneliness you know although you can't physically see me and touch me you can see me and touch the screen where's the camera touch the screen i'm here I'm here for you it's coffee for coffee you were for coffee. That's an old Lee Mac joke. For those who uh, know who Lee Mac is, forgot to turn my watch off. Oh, God. 624 calories in the hour. That's not bad. So, uh, 20, 25 minutes of that has me not been working out. It's just me, me, me walking around the house. From the West Wing to the East Wing, of course. To the dungeon. Welcome to the dungeon. Um, yeah, so I've just been... I was saying earlier... So I'm referring to a conversation that none of you are privy to apart from one person. Um, that I just need to work on my nutrition, so I think it's my laziness that's, uh, that's stopping it. I think that is the key. That is the key for me to find my uh, next avenue of fitness. Mm. But yeah, but that's besides the point. Anyway, travelling. So. As a lot of people, you a lot of people know, I uh, not a big fan of people's holiday photos. <laughs> and now, obviously, you're smiling because I uh, just to fill you in, where where uh, those who don't, I don't really care about you know when people go on holiday and um, post, post their send me pictures or post pictures on Facebook, Instagram, whatever, messenger groups, whatever like that. Not a big fan. You know, I like holiday photos. If I'm in them, if I'm not in them, I'm not really that bothered. I'm not saying that don't have a, have a nice holiday. Don't flaunt your holiday in my face. <laughs> oh, it's an old thing that I've done for years. Um, but it's like, yeah, somebody said, you want to see my holiday photos? Am I in them? Not really. Either. And I'll always wish you a happy holiday. And I'll be happy when you come back safely. But I'm not really that bothered <laughs> about the content. I'm, I, mean, I hope you have a good time as well. But yeah, don't show me photos. It just makes me feel bad. Why would you want to make? Why do you want to make me feel bad? What? Why do you want 
you're throwing your photos at me. Make me feel bad. Some people do it on purpose now. Send me bring pictures. It's no joke. Just one sec. I just need to quickly. One second. Sorry about that. Just. Yeah. So yeah. Don't make me feel bad about your holiday. Not wanting to look at your holiday photos. I hope that rubs people the wrong way. It's my new, much my, my, my New Year's resolution being horrible. Do you reckon I could do it? Those who know me, nah, nah, me, me neither. I do feel. I used to be horrible. I didn't really. I've always, I think I've always been pretty reasonable. I did. Um, I did call somebody a little ray of fucking sunshine today, just because. She was being an arsehole. But that happens, I suppose, sometimes. <laughs> I did laugh about it afterwards. Um, it was in the, in, in the shops, went through shopping. Uh, some people just off. It's just arse, even no reason. That's all it was. But yeah. But it's, well, it's one of those things. It's, but the deck of cards are still here. Um, yeah, not a lot's happened, really. Like I say, with the announcements, um, people seem to be a bit more cheered about it with the the um, slow lifting of restrictions that are happening well that are proposed let's say proposed because anything within those times anything could happen so hopefully and I did mention it to somebody I think some people especially in this country in the UK are no friends to themselves that as soon as the pubs open they're going to go fucking mental and get it's like the, the pubs are going to open. That doesn't mean you have to drink six months worth worth in in, in a day. They're going to be open the next day as well and the day after that. You know, you can take it home. You can spread it out. You can go out like you would normally go out. Just have a few drinks, have a good time, enjoy it, and go back. Don't. The problem is, I, I, I'm just the foreshadowing of it of, of town centres and city centres just being rammed full of drunk idiots that have just got hammered. And I can see, it, you know, I can see it happening. But and then, you know, put people back, whether you believe it or not. That's that's on you. But I'm just saying, it's just that the fact of the matter is, we're in a situation. We're in this situation. And if people are going to go absolutely ape shit on their drink, and then hugging and all over the place, and nobody's got any control, and then oh shit. The rates have started going up again in specific places and then people spread around. I'm going to London, I'm going to Birmingham, I'm going here, I'm going there. It's just going to... So, take it easy. That's what I'm saying. Just take it easy. Have a cup. Appreciate the pub. You'll enjoy going to the pub. From what I remember in December when I went. It was lovely. But it wasn't... We weren't stupid. We just had a few drinks and we left. And we didn't... Um, yeah. Stay there to get hammered. Could I have 73 Jaeger bombs, please? Just take it easy. That's what I'm saying. Take it easy. That's it. Simple. Take that. Take that away if you're not going to take anything away. Anything else away. Take it easy. But yeah. Because um, there's a... Obviously, hopefully a few celebrations to come later on in the year if, uh, if everything is, is good. Uh, I know of a few weddings. More than one, actually. There's obviously one that I knew about, but there's a there's a couple more now. Um, not sure about holidays. I don't think uh, I think it'd be too early to start booking holidays because, like I say, anything could be come. What does it say? March, April, May. So March, a little bit of restriction lifted. April more, May more, and then June and July more. So yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm saying it, within the May, within the April, May. July sort of period when the weather gets better and the pubs are open you know what it's it's uh, anything can happen within that time so it might be just worth maybe not booking stuff straight away but like I said last week I do want to travel so um, hopefully by the end of the year I'll be able to have travelled somewhere well, out, out of the country somewhere at least and it'd be nice and yeah with the vaccines and stuff I think it might be likely that you will require to have a vaccine to travel I think and not on the basis of what this government says, it's on the basis of what other countries say. Because you don't know what other countries, what other, what restrictions other countries may put in. If you haven't had a vaccine, 
or if you I mean like the same with the tests you have to have a COVID test to go travel at certain places so, and they won't accept tests I mean I know of one India um, somebody who went to India who had to wait six hours they'd come gone with a test and they had a negative test here but when they got there it was like um, no you have to have another one here because we're not accepting that that result so they had to wait six hours in the airport get a negative test and could go if they didn't get if they got positive test I'm guessing they would have been sent back or they would have been quarantined or something like that so definitely um, it might be a case that like I said the vaccine passport might be a thing yeah so um, I haven't had a letter I'm not that old um, only mum in our family's had it my nan well you know other members of my family have had it as well um, I think we're quite a far down on the list and um, I'm just taking my vitamins, trying to keep healthy, trying to stay safe, as they say, um, trying to keep in touch with people, trying to keep my brain working. Mum's making sarg. <laughs> That's what she's come to get her bits of, for her sarg. If you don't know what sarg is, look it up because it's spinach. But sarg. People like sarg. I know a lot of people like sarg. It wasn't mentioned it. Um, what was I talking about? Vaccine passports. Vaccine passports. Yeah. But yes, it'd be nice to get out, go and see people. Go to another country. Mm. It'd be nice. Well, wouldn't it? It'd be nice if I went to another <laughs> Just send me to another country. Um, not a prison colony, hopefully. Yeah, there's lots of places that you want to see. But let's not talk about travel again, because people have stopped pining about holidays. Let's all go away. Yeah, I was meant to go to a few places last year. I was meant to have the wedding in the Nick and Stu's wedding in shout out Nick and Stu in, in May last year that was wasn't it? That was all booked. Um luckily I got money back for that one, so that was alright. Um Mm. Other than that, then kids are going back to school. Not next week, not this week, the week after, so the 8th. Kids are back at school. Might have been alright. They've been good. They've uh, just got on with their shit. Got emails from the school saying that they're doing alright and they're attending the lessons. So, you know, it's all you can sort of ask of them, really. Um, well, there's been, other than that, it's all been a bit quiet. I did have something else I was going to say, but I can't remember what it was. I'm trying to learn how to shuffle. Like posh shuffle, not like uh, the riffle shuffles and stuff, I don't know how to do those. I'm going to do a magic trick on here one day. I'm trying to learn that disappearing card trick. Um, things take practice, don't they? But yeah, so... So, what was I going to say? Yeah, yeah. So it'd be nice, um, we can arrange to see some people at some point soon. People will be able to do even just sort of a little bit of mixing. Not in terms of like, no, obviously within guidelines, but just being, um, it'd be nice just to see people. It's That's what I think it is, a lot of it is a social contact. You miss it, don't you? Don't you? And I'm trying to keep on top of... Um, Speaking to people and messaging people. Probably to the point of annoyance, but you know. What are you going to do? You can tell me to stop. I probably will for a day, maybe two. Then go, ah, oh, I think I need, they need to. They need some vitamin Del. Vitamin D. D. The, the right kind of vitamin D. There's not much happened today. I don't think there's anything happening today, isn't there? Saturday, UFC's on next week, so I'm looking forward to that big fight next week. So um, I'll be up at stupid o'clock on Sunday morning, four o'clock in the morning for that one. So that should be I should be suitably tired come Sunday. Um, but yeah, uh, go 
got an architect coming, well, it's about probably online speaking, not sort of Skyping him or something tomorrow. Not tomorrow, it's Monday, because we, we want to have some work done on the house, so. Um, that'll be interesting. This, this, this dungeon may be a room at some point in the near future. Well, I don't know how long it's going to take. I'm going to be a fucking building here. But, um, be a room, and there'll be lots of space in the house. Not that it's tiny, but it's just... We've got some big people in the house now, and uh, we all need a little bit of room. Hence the reason I have to come into the dungeon to this, because it makes too much noise in the house. Um, yeah, I was quite happy yesterday. I think he was back on. Um, like, if you, uh, if any of you remember, well, okay, so rewind, 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 rewind. I'm a horror fan. I like horror films. I like old horror films. Like. I've talked about this before, like some of my favourites were like Nightmare on Elm Street. That was probably the scariest one for me. But uh, like, I, like that era of horror film, and that era of the horror film was also um, Evil Dead, the Evil Dead series of films, and um, became a big fan. Evil Dead, the Evil Dead first one was like, yeah, okay, was, there were some scary bits in it, which it's a horror film, and it was, it was, I think it was, from what I remember reading about it, and from what I remember of the film, I mean, it's been a long time since it was. It was billed as a uh, horror, just straight up horror film, gory horror film as well, a lot of blood in it, and I think there was aspects of humour in it, which was new for comedy films. I mean, for comedy films for horror films. So um, I think they played on that. Well, they, they did play on that more in the second one. They did Evil Dead Two. They, I'm talking about Sam Raimi, who was the. You may know him if you didn't know him as the Evil Dead director. If you remember the Spider-Man films with Tobey Maguire in. Um, he was the one that wrote and directed those. I think he wrote them. I'm sure. He, I know he directed them. I'm sure he wrote them as well. But yeah, so he's he's a he's he's a he's a legendary director, a filmmaker. Let's say filmmaker because he's not just a director. But yeah, so he made those, and so he played on it more in the second one, and then he played on it more of a comedy with an aspect of horror in the third one called Army of Darkness, Evil Dead Three, Army of Darkness. Love the love the series. It's fun. The main character Bruce Campbell. Um, is Ash? Ash uh, is the main is the main character in it. Uh, the the main protagonist, they say, who's fighting the, the hordes of evil. He's got a chainsaw for one hand and he's a shotgun. And uh, yeah, but they made it into a TV series, which is on Netflix, called Ash vs. the Evil Dead. Um, which he's got Bruce Campbell in it. Sam Raimi is involved in um, involved in it as well. He doesn't direct them, but he, I think he's sort of co-created it and made it for TV and stuff like that. Ace, if you like that kind of thing, it's really gory really silly gory and it's got the horror in it but they've got the, more of the comedy in it and it's like but uh, and so yeah it is really gory loads of blood but um it's funny it's because it's so stupid it's funny and that's what i like about it that's definitely my sense of humor um so that was uh i didn't know that they'd done a third series of it and that i noticed it the other day i thought have i seen that and it came on and i was like yes um, so I'm halfway through it already. There's only ten episodes, and like, I watched five of them yesterday. They're only half an hour long, so it's uh, it's it's all good. But um, that was nice, and uh, it was a bit comfortable, a bit on the edge. And then um, yeah, I, that that was fun watching that. Um, my guilty pleasure series is back on as well, MacGyver. I've, I enjoy watching that. It's always worth. I'm, it's it's it, it's still got. The ridiculousness of the original MacGyvers, if you know what the MacGyvers were. He was like a man who would get trapped in a... You have to think of the A-team, but compressed down to one person. And he would make stuff to escape these, or help these people, just using whatever. But this is... With this series, they try and go with more... This can be done, and it's more, more science... And, and shows you more of the science of how it can be done. Rather than it, um, him just like going, yes, and I made a bomb out of this paperclip and blue tech. Um... So that's, um, yeah, that's like, I call it my guilty pleasure one because a lot of people ridicule it, but I, I think it's quite good. In fairness, it's done six six series, so it can't be that bad because they wouldn't keep recommissioning it. So that was back on, and I enjoy that. Um, and Blacklist, oh, well, I'll watch that later on because I'm watching the ladies from Blacklist. I love Blacklist. I think that was it. They went down a little bit, in, I think, midway through the series. I think probably series four or series five. I thought, oh, it's going a bit. But then they brought it back because they they rejigged the story a little bit and um, it's Ace that is really good. I uh, yeah I've got a lot of time for the blacklist. 
Um, so I'm well invested in that in that world of the blacklist, and then uh, one division has been uh, it's pretty immense. That's the last one next Friday. So that should be interesting actually, because I don't know if anybody watches it. I'm just rambling on, assuming that you watch it. But if you do watch it, it's Marvel based, um, and uh, the culmination of it. And there's meant to be a quite a big cameo in it. We're thinking it's going to be Doctor Strange, but it could be. It could be. They could do anything really, because we didn't. No, nobody called um, the. Uh, I'm not going to spoil it for anybody. The the person that came in on the last not episode eight, episode seven. So um, that will be interesting. Hmm. What thoughts have I got? I haven't got any thoughts. I don't have thoughts anymore. It's boring. Yeah. Um, thoughts on life. What are your thoughts on life? Thoughts on life. I write stuff. Though some people know I write. I do a little writing. I do a little. Do a little bit of poetry. Only some people have been privy to that. Um. It's, not, it's good to get your thoughts out though, I think. I think that's a good thing. One thing I learned last year was about the um, of writing stuff down. Or getting it out. Uh, something I, I listened to, I think Whitney Cummings, she's an American comedian. She was talking about it, about when you're nervous or anxious about something. That, that Even just saying it out loud, rather than keeping it in and thinking about it, saying it out loud helps your brain process it and actually reduces the anxiety. Because you actually hear it. Rather than um, you keep on thinking it's in, it's because you're just sort of manifesting it inside. You kind of, if you say it out loud, like whatever, you know, I've got a job interview tomorrow. And, you know, if you internally and you're not spoken to, like they say, talking, when you talk to somebody about something that you're struggling with, um, it helps allay those, brings down that anxiety. Same thing is that a similar thing happens, I think, is that your brain recognizes it. So if you see, even if you're just saying it out loud to yourself in the mirror, I think that helps it. So, um, that was what, and I think the writing down thing is is a good thing. That if you're writing, uh, you know, if you're feeling down about emotion, uh, writing to an emotion, writing to what you know somebody, and you don't have to send it to anybody. It's just for you. It's just for you. And I've talked about this before, but um, so I, 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 you know, I write stuff and I do this and do that, and it's just be on the phone. I'll read it back. I've sent some stuff out to people, and it's just uh, there's some stuff I've just wrote that's funny that's made me laugh, and I'm like, I'm just writing it down like a joke or whatever like that and um not a joke writing the scenario down like a joke just because it's made me laugh and even just doing this is it i listen surprisingly i listen to these sometimes just to check and um it puts a smile on my face when i'm listening to myself which is it's not about narcissism or anything like that it's just because it's um i find myself quite amusing uh and if you asked me 12 months ago i didn't really like myself at all so I was told to like myself a little bit more. So over the last year, I like myself. I like myself quite a lot. Work, walk, man. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, learn to love yourselves. Take that away from this one. I love you, but learn to love yourselves as well. On that powerful note, I love you and leave you. Goodbye.